and we're back to Mass Effect 2. Dark and Ran having gone down to Tachunka, finally, and kicked the shit out of a Thresher Maw with what basically amounts to a nuke. Yay. And, oh yeah, Krogan Shotgun. So, now nothing to do but go back to, you know, chipping away at all the, um, squad mates' personal problems. Yep. Need more platinum for the custom claymore. Oh my. You know that shotgun we could have got from the collector ship? Yeah, just, you know, for him, I guess. Yeah, specifically for him. Thane would like to speak with you, Commander. Yeah, may as well go talk to Thane. Yeah, too bad we can't use get or two. I know, right? Granted, I probably wouldn't really use the uh, Widow or the Claymore. Uh, I guess. I mean, the Widow is good, don't get me wrong, I've used it before. Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. Hmm. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyak. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. No, not all at once. Nothing dramatic. No sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyak jumps into the room. Father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, please, touch my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. You never mentioned this before. Yeah, that's... Why now? When that's my wife harsh. departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. Well, that's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain mm. that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected. No longer whole. Well, what's wrong with Makes him? Sense. Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is. This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. He'd be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Yeah. Let him go to the Citadel. Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Which means we actually have a meeting to go to. We do. But I guess it's more of a heating. Uh, no, actually, we're going to be putting that off for a little while. Oh, but I have my reasons. 
Fine. I'm missing anyone. Jack Miranda Tally queued up. Jacob Thane Samara is queued up. So yeah, I th and Zaids. So yeah, I think that's all of them queued up and ready to be done. Aside from the one we haven't met yet. <clears throat> so much to do, so little time. We get to, so what do you think? Citadel, Zaid, or Jacob first? Oh. Mm. Citadel. Huh? Citadel. Citadel, okay. Thane and Garrus it is. Just took me a moment to decide. So much to do, so little time. Got to put a helmet on. Named Fade in crime reports. Oh, well. Perhaps that is a good place to start looking. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. You think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy? I know CSEC too well to believe that's true. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Hmm. So despite the increased personnel, there's actually more flaws in the security. Mm-hmm. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Faye. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. <laughs> Gently. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside, CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Well, as a matter of fact, I do need something else. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? 
Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. <laughs> Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. <laughs> I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyak plans to assassinate someone. <laughs> Oh, uh, so what's kind of funny is apparently uh, the I delete something like you on the way to real problems is apparently an actual a reference to a line Renegade Shepard says in the pr first game. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is. He's a cop. He tried to stop Colyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Alright, so which way should we be going first? Garrus's or Thane's? I can tell you right now, Thane's technically quicker because there's not really any combat. That's the Thane's because I'm quite just more curious. Alright. The Dark Stars. I don't remember the layout of this layout of the Citadels. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. Seasec like won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Dark Star, Dark Star, Dark Star, Dark Star. Is it the Dark Star Lord? No. Wait, you don't know about that yet. I have no idea what you're referencing. The Mulana too. <laughs> that would be why. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't think about it. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Well, there's Mouse, but since... We need to ask about it anyway. Uh, you don't want any to talk to? No, no. I'm pretty sure, guys. <laughs> Fascinating human game. Solitaire. The, the sad part is that actually sounds like something a Solarian would find. It's all, yeah, it's all numbers. Yeah. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place for this. Or maybe he's actually inside Dark Star, you know? Yeah, not that I think of the Asalarian would probably do amazing at the casino and be able to take out Yeah, until they kick him out. Yeah, that's what they say. Then <laughs> I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is Delea Sonnesi's gift shop. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out so the flowers actually... across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. Oh, <laughs> I find it funny that they, um, that they acknowledge that the conduit is, well, the conduit. But they, you know, deny everything else. And the, well, what's the conduit again? Hang on a sec. Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans That's... always ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm done for now. <laughs> Let me know if you change your mind. <laughs> they didn't make that very much effect. They didn't <laughs> And to answer your previous question, remember that mini mass relay that we kind of jumped through? I wish they still made oh, yeah, yeah. that was the thing. Oh, yeah. Pop. Well, okay, that might be more difficult. No, that's fine. I got some quarians who can strip the copy protection. Just cost more. Yeah, I got the package. It'll be there. Don't worry. I'll deliver it myself. That won't happen. You can count on me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You won't be disappointed. Well, I just need a bit they more time. mediator like kind of guy. Right? Yeah. Somebody told me the package was in two parts. Yeah, I know. I'll get it, don't worry. 
end of day, no later. You can count on it. I How many lines do you have? That, that won't be necessary. I'll throw in a copy of the Shepherd VI. Hey, I've always worked real hard on that. <laughs> yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you? Oh shit, Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know Faye? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. Right, enough, I guess. He gave another drill instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for, <laughs> they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You've always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? So me oh, like shit, you heard... Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. <laughs> I want one! Or I want a cut. What do you I think? Want... I want one. <laughs> Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volus who are patching it all the time. <laughs> you did okay. good, Mouse. Yeah. I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. <laughs> yeah. Certainly sounds like trouble. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know Good this. Good point. Let's head back to Bailey. But there's also many things for giving yourself. If you open one, we have a special Let those people forget you that. can download a game free. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Game. Um uh, you're right. I can't adjust the camera. Uh Guess I'm running uh, like this for a moment. <laughs> Actually, I think I know an easy way to fix this. And this isn't even a test I game. I know, right? I'm 
the first thing we see, close up of Garrus's face. I've found references to a forger named uh -huh. Fade in CSEC Crime. Yes? I can think of worse things to... Mm. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. If I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. And Elias has his VI sent to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. <clears throat> we should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? We're gonna have Dane be good cop. I'm gonna tell you, there's gonna be chances to renegade interrupt here. Keep your eye on it if you want me to... Well, do it. Let me know. You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. Arch. Too late. <laughs> Bailey doesn't know you're here, but he will. After we're done. This is off the record. No criminal charges will be brought against you. What are you, frog boy? This little sidekick? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Do Come it. On, get me. Get it. Works for me. No! Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. Beach, I must leave in a bag. <laughs> Go to hell. isn't working, Shepard. We're making no progress. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> fucking quit it. Ain't worth this. <laughs> Joram Talee. Turian running for office in the Zakira War. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment. The 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... You played me! I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait. You got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? Well, I guess I'll have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name... Elias! As your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. <laughs> Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. <laughs> What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talib. You know him? Joram? Yeah. 
You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal of Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. I see it now. It's kind of lucky that we missed that first prompt. Because if you knock him out too many times, he'll actually just kind of KO. There he is. Oh. How do you want to play this? Follow the lead of the maintenance catbox. Tell me what he's doing. The Grogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? Yeah, yeah. this kind of to me. Fuck, yeah. The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. He's so cool! <laughs> it's been wonderful Is he romantic? I hope you'll come out on election day. Sort of. Show the humans they won't For females. Well, Thanks. yeah, kind of Just remember, mm. it's not all about the human. Yeah, it's not an society, so... Taking back our ward is only huh? the first step. Oh. We must remove the cowards and appeasers on the council. This doesn't stop here. I won't rest until the humans have been removed from power. This isn't yeah, just the about the humans. Wait patiently for hundreds or thousands. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I'm following. It's almost like he had to uh, say we're in position very loudly. <laughs> Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Not gonna say every little speech. <laughs> no. No problem so far. Mm. Hey, Luca. Do you have the target? I've got him. Okay. I like on the opposite wall. I thought I saw something. Oh. It's a key pair! Sina was inside. Oh. <laughs> there was one right in front of us when we started. Can you give me an update? Yeah, later I would like to actually examine them closely to see what they look like in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> we haven't like, really stopped to look at them or anything, we just can pass them by. Hmm. Well, like like Dan just said, they ignored. Yeah. You caught what the Krogan was doing in there, didn't you? Hmm? You see what the Krogan was doing in there? Uh, didn't notice. That's the point. It was a shakedown. Ah. I kind of got distracted with, with tons of keepers, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What's he doing? I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. No sign of trouble. Looks like a shakedown. Looks like a shakedown, no sign of trouble. <laughs> Blood pack kind of stick out here on the Citadel, don't they? Mm-hmm. I see. Like that there's even more of I got that weird feeling, like somebody's watching me. You're running for <coughs> Stay close, Shepard. Yes, sir. He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. 
Maybe he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. Maybe you'd better do the damn job I pay you for. Yes, sir. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just... just go on through, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let my boss... Yes. Heavily armed Citadel Health and Safety. Hey, they might have some really big rats. <laughs> Sabita, what he said. Ah! Koyat! Oh, Babe, I saw him. He's heading to the lead's apartment. That's a strong weapon, isn't it? <laughs> you just open up the. Yeah, knock the Krogan down. This is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. c -Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Delete. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you could die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the deep, I went to find them. The trigger men. The ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Dane has dealt with his son. He should be clear of any further distractions from the mission. Dane's personal matter revealed troubling issues with Citadel politics. He may have to support Elias Kellum and similar criminals to, to counteract anti-human bias. Bailey at CSEC offers a possible recruiting opportunity. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for that tip, game. <laughs> I beat that of the one. They've been in there a while. The place. kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. <laughs> How'd it go? Our problems are 
They are something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. I was a bit of a jump. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the needs must. Yes. No, I was more referring to the camera cut that just kind of shifted, oh. so... <laughs> oh, absolutely, but you should be used to that by now. Yeah. Well, that's Thane's issue taken care of. And so next time we can deal with Garrus' issue, because that's going to be a mm. lot more pleasant. On one side, I understand that they need to make multiple mini cuts and stuff and for all of the possible variations and stuff. On the other side, uh, Bailey standing up to face Shepard and then suddenly shaking Thane's hand. Was oh no, no, he was absolutely getting up to shake Thane's hand. Totally. No, no, really, because Thane stepped around the desk. Um, yeah, it was... Because Shepard was standing <laughs> over here. Yeah, Angle was a bit weird. Yeah, the Angle was absolutely fucking weird. Anyway. Bye-bye. Anyway.